I'm back at the heath again. I'm going back at the landing gear. And I've been playing around with flattening the end of this uh, 6061 aluminum tube. And uh, you shouldn't lay it on a garbage bag when you've got it nice and hot. Or this will happen. And uh, I'm using this little temperature gun. I'm trying to figure out where the happy hot point is. Um, this is the first successful one I've made. And of course put a little piece of aluminum in the middle there before I finish compressing it. Um, this is the last one I did today doing a practice run. And this one uh, turned out pretty good. So I think I'm ready to squish the big one. Got them marked off and I noticed that the pencil doesn't burn off with the uh, propane torch. 100 degrees. I inserted the uh, aluminum plate in there. No cracks. I screwed up the first one, which means I got a waste of the whole tube. Well, I can use it for something else, I guess, but still, I hate to screw up. This stuff ain't cheap. And there we are. Finished end. Now, all I gotta do is get lucky with this end. And unfortunately, I cut another length of this stuff. That kind of pissed me off. Now, we got to do that two more times. Okay, here's my quick and easy contraption of the day. Two pieces of old scrap pine that I had kicking around. Put a Aluminum plate in the vise. Made sure that when this is clamped, this thing is square with the notch I cut in this block. I cut the block out, and as you can see, I got a notch. And the idea of the notch is to put this end, the already flattened end of the tube, in there. So when I'm ready, all this crap out of the way. I'm ready to uh, compress the other end of this thing. It'll be uh, be square. Now what I'm going to do I already tighten this down just snug. And the idea is, of course, it's going to straighten this out where it wants to be. And got to get going here now. So I'll anchor this block. I'll put a couple of just a screw or two in here just to anchor this to the uh, bench. When that's hot enough to start compressing, this will keep the two ends aligned.
lots of editing to do on this one. <laughs> and that jig worked good, both hands are flat. And they fit flush on the, uh, they fit even on the uh, gear legs. So, we're laughing. I was kind of dreading this part just because of the way that aluminum behaves. But to, uh, if you let it get too hot to the point where it kind of looks like it's bubbled a bit, it'll crack if it's too hot and it cracks if it's too cold. So I found if you can get it into the vise at around 125 or 130 degrees Celsius, that seems to uh, be ideal. It uh, didn't crack, compress nice. But while I'm t it takes about three three shots, you got to reheat. Of course, the vise is sucking up a lot of the heat. Um, as soon as I feel it, uh, when you first start compressing, it goes relatively easily. But as soon as you feel it starting to stiffen up a bit, my back off and I heat her up again. And when I check the temperature, it's down to like twenty to uh, it's down to like forty five to fifty degrees. So it cools off quite a bit when you're squishing her. But there she is. Both of them are good. So now I got the uh, get some uh, hole drilling to do. And get that set up. There, success. I took uh, the uh, top one here. And I drilled both ends after doing all the measurements up, and I drilled the other end of the. You can see, there's two here. I drilled the other end as well on this one, but I saved this hole for just to make it perfect. Of course, when you get the two of them set up like this, you want them, you want them uh, exactly the same. So I put a bolt through this end, put a drill bit through here with a piece of wood under both ends. Let's see stuff here and of course the drill bit kept this lined up through these two holes that are in both sides here and with the wood under here I uh, marked the center on this side you can barely see it there there's a line coming up here had that all lined up perfect and uh, just drilled her through and Exactly the same, both sides. So we're getting closer, Doc. So the next step is probably, or it's definitely going to be, uh, of course these screws are only temporary, is the uh, cross bracing for the wires, cable. <laughs> 